The music group, The Blind Boys of Alabama, one of gospel music's legendary talents. And get this, the iconic singer Jimmy Carter founded the group in the 1940s. Fox News' Antoine Lewis shows us what makes Carter and The Blind Boys so special. The performances at this year's McDonald's Gospel Fest will be inspiring, one even more so. I heard a voice, but I saw no one. The legendary group, The Blind Boys of Alabama. The Blind Boys, as they are affectionately known, first started singing way back in 1944. Original founding member Jimmy Carter tells Fox 5, it all began at a school for the blind. So that's where I met them at. So we got together and started a quartet, and that was the beginning of the Blind Boys. And it's been an amazing ride ever since. The Blind Boys have won five Grammys. Are you free? Played in front of three presidents. And opened on a worldwide tour for rock icon Peter Gabriel. They have countless admirers, including Prince. We were on stage and uh, lo and behold, Prince came stepping out there and took the guitar from my guitar player and started playing with the blind boys himself. But what is perhaps Carter's most important legacy is how he and the other blind boys have overcome a physical challenge to shine. People say, you got a handicap. I said, no, I don't have a handicap. I have a little inconvenience, but it's not a handicap. Carter says as a child, he would ask God why he was born blind, but now he looks at it as a blessing in disguise. If he had made me to see, I probably, and I say probably, not possibly, but probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. And when the blind boys take the stage, their goal is to spiritually uplift audiences through their music. People have come up to the blind boys and tell us how we have touched their lives. If we could touch one or two, then all of, all of this that we go through is worth it all. And even after all the awards, the honors, and the album sales, Carter says he has no plans of slowing down anytime soon. I'm going to do it as long as I can. <laughs> but how long that's going to be, I don't know. But uh, as long as I can get around and shake these old bones and stuff, I'll, I'll be here. And we are all very, very thankful for that. Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News. Okay, and you can catch the Blind Boys of Alabama and other gospel superstars at McDonald's Gospel Fest 2015 when the choir meets the quartet. The show being held Saturday, May 9th at the Prudential Center in Newark. If you'd like to buy tickets, head to our website, myfoxny.com. Always a great show.